Prophet said, In al quluba tasda kama yasda al hadid. The hearts become rusty just like iron becomes rusty. Kama tasda or yasda al hadid. Wa in al imana mukhlaqun kama yukhlaqun thawb al jadid. An iman is worn out just like a new garment is worn out. And how do we revive this heart? And how do we revive our iman? By doing the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by reading the Quran, by reflecting over His creation. Uh, I believe you mentioned the hadith last week about every time you do a sin, a black dot is um, put on your heart, right? And if you do tawbah, if you, the hadith is if you desist, if you stop and do tawbah and seek forgiveness, it's wiped away. But if you continue and continue and continue on that sin, every time you do the sin, a black dot is placed on your heart and continuously until it gets greater and greater. <coughs> and then the Prophet ﷺ said, the whole heart is covered and recited the verse of the Qur'an. Uh, Nay, what happened was that the, um, their hearts were overcome, like rusted, they were covered. Bima kanu yaksibun due to what they were uh, doing or what they were acquiring of the actions, what they were committing. Yaksibun, their kasb, their actions with what they're doing. Um, so this is the first one that we talked about last time, that you need to clean the heart and purify the heart because those black dots are a barrier to your heart. You won't allow you know you won't allow the lights of the Quran, the benefit of the dhikr to come. You need to polish it first. There's this first process of the journey is takhliya. Right? This is a summarization of the journey. The first process is takhliya. Uh, takhliya means to remove right, from khali, to be empty. Right? Takhliya is to remove something, to cleanse yourself of sins, to remove the distractions, to get rid of things that are, dist- are harmful to you. Right? Once you've got things that you know, empty the cup full of filth, right? polish the heart that's got the rust on it. This is the first process, which requires tawbah, which requires istighfar, which requires you know penitence and return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know doing the dhikr and so forth. This is the first step. The second step is called tahliya. And tahliya comes from the word huli which means decoration or huli actually refers to jewelry as well. Um, and that is doing the good actions now. You've desisted and you've stopped in the tawbah. Now you're doing nafal ibadat, you're doing extra dhikr, you're doing um, your fasting, you know, you're doing things that will help you to uh, grow and become better. This is called tahliya, right? Taking on the good attributes. That's the outward. Inward as well, you remove from your heart things like hatred and rancor and envy um, and arrogance, right? Big one. And then you put into your heart things like shukr, things like uh, humbleness, um, things like um, gentleness and mercy and compassion, uh, khidmah for others, right? You consider, you know, be kind and considerate. Um, and then the third step, that, that's tahliya, the second step. The third step is uh, tajliya. Tajliya is not your job. Tajliya is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tajliya is when Allah gives you the gifts for your efforts. Tajliya is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manif- literally manifestations. Allah manifests His divine gifts. You might see things, you might feel things, you might be with people, you might have openings of you know, dreams maybe, right? Allah gives you gifts, Allah pushes you forward uh, in different ways for different people. Um, and that's the goal, to get the tajliya, right? The more tajliya you get, the greater, the higher your maqam becomes until you have full uh, fana. Right? Fana, you don't see anything but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we can talk about in the next hikmah, inshallah.